Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So today we are going to start a new playlist, which would be about Java. So I think nearly one or two weeks back, we had created a poll on our community page that what kind of content you would be interested in. And there were three to four options. One was Java, one was Python, one was mock interviews. And the fourth one was about uh, any other automation frameworks. So almost 70, 75% people voted for Java and mock interviews, right? So we are going to start the Java and we will be covering each and every topic. So let's quickly start. Okay, so this is going to be the Java for beginners, but slowly and gradually we will be covering topics of advanced level and we will be also covering interview questions in Java. So anyone who has been laid off and who is preparing for the interviews, so they can go through this playlist and they can revisit, they can revise their concepts and they can prepare for the interviews, right? Okay, now before proceeding with this uh, Java programming sessions, I just wanted to highlight these things. See, what was Apple in 1975? And what it is now in 2023, so 2022, it's a typo. What Google was in 1998 and what is it in today? Amazon in 1994 and you can see Amazon today. So uh, the meaning behind keeping the slide is just to uh, tell you that, see, good things always take time, right? Many people of you who are watching this video, you might be watching after three months, you might be watching after one, one year, you might be watching it now itself, but good things always take time. Right. So even if you are learning the programming for the very first time, so don't create a fear in your mind that you cannot learn this thing. You, you won't be able to understand programming. You won't be able to do this thing in your career. Right? Nothing is impossible. And you have to train your mind with by taking motivation from these kind of pictures. See, if these people are able to progress or if these people are able to achieve what they were compared to 100x times what they were earlier right then you, it's just a programming language right so it is nothing that is uh, too hard for you you can see apple office in 1975 and what it is today so they have grown with leaps and bounds and for you the challenge is very small compared compared to what they had right it's just about a programming language right so you don't have to worry about uh, whether it would be too difficult for you. Even if it is too difficult for you, then you are X square difficult for that particular challenge, right? So that problem is very minor before you and it's not a problem at all, right? So let's let's start the first slide, okay? So in this video, we will be seeing what is Java, right? We will be seeing the origin. We will be seeing father of Java and what is the platform, right? Okay, and before uh, before continuing on this video, if you're watching this video for the very first time, then please do like, share, and subscribe our channel, right? Now, what is Java? So the origin of Java was developed by Sun Microsystems, right? Which is now under Oracle, right? So now Oracle is giving releases of Java. So you will find LTS versions of Java on their website. So LTS is nothing but long time, long term stable. Right, LTS. That means it will have major of the updates. Then there will be minor patch releases that will be coming up and we will be discussing all these releases also in the next upcoming slide. And I'll be discussing what is LTS, what is minor version, but this is how it is there. So every year you will get a lot of updates in Java, but don't worry, those updates are minor updates. The core knowledge of the Java remains the same. It doesn't happen if you understood, if you have learned Java today, so after one year, the version, new version will be released. So you won't be able to work in Java. It does not happen like that. The core function, the core knowledge, the core Java remains as it is, right? So Java is now a product of Oracle from the year 1995. Now, who is the father of Java? So Java is nothing but it's a name of an island in Indonesia where the first coffee named Java coffee beans were produced. Right. And this was the name chosen by ja James Gosling. 
right? He was having coffee near his office. So that's why he came up with a, with this name of Java, right? So pretty interesting. People like James Gosling, they come up with the name of uh, programming language while having coffee, right? So uh, it's, it's just a name and it's not an economy, right? Now, any hard, now let's, let's look at the platform, right? Why Java is known as platform? Okay, so this is not an interview based question. And see, uh, I'll, I'll give you the hints, what is interview question, what is not, but don't go through this playlist as uh, trying to clear in an interview. Yes, definitely. That is one of the point that we all have to do. We have all have to clear the interviews. We have to get the job with the good packages, but learn the things in such a manner that ultimately you are able to implement them in a real time work workplace in a real time projects right so just don't learn on the basis of interview and i'll be also telling you what will be the interview question as and when we cover those topics right so platform okay now any hardware or any software you know environment in which a program runs is known as a platform now java has a runtime environment as well as it has an api so it is known as a platform, right? So, so that's it for Java. What is Java? So we have seen, right, the origin of Java. How did Java come into the picture? And what is the platform? Why it is called as platform, right? So that's it for this video. And stay tuned for more updates. Thank you.